Hello Leo, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading uh, for the 24th to the 30th of June. Uh, I, you can find me on MeWe and YouTube of course and by the advice on Facebook. This is your reading darlings and this is a beautiful card depicting your zodiac sign. Welcome to the new people and I hope you enjoyed this reading and welcome back to my faithful followers. Thank you for being there. I do appreciate it. I'm good. We are going live tonight with the competition God and Goddesses and I hope you will join in and be dressed up as a goddess. I like one of these people. That's a good example. And um, the, uh, do you know how to, what to do? Um, like take a selfie with the chat in the back of you so that is proof that you uh, took part tonight and of course send your picture to buddyadvice at buddyadvicegmail.com and the, uh, the competition will be judged by the moderators. I hope to see you there tonight and we'll give you a card and we'll have lots of fun and most probably support each other again and have a natter. I hope Everybody is just as excited as I am. It is the 21st of June. It is the summer solace today and it's the longest day um, and the, the longest day of light during the day uh, during the year and of course it's the first day of the birthday of cancer. So happy birthday cancer if you're a cross watcher. Well darlings as you know, and newcomers, I'm explaining this for you. This is your Monday card, Wednesday, Friday and the weekend. The cards underneath are the clarification cards for the cards above. Then I've got the answer of the angel, a card from the romance deck and your spirit animal for the week. And like I said, this is for the 24th to the 30th of June. Wow, doesn't time fly? Well, on Monday, darling Leo, you have the stars. Your wish or goal is coming true. On Tuesday, you have the mountain. The mountain means that you might um, be making mountains out of mole. Don't make mountains out of mole hills. Sorry, Millie is being really uh, a little bit naughty. So, you know, you don't have to uh, climb the mountain, you can walk the path. So take your time. If there is a confrontation or if there's something that you don't like or ap are apprehensive about, do it in your own time, be gentle and everything will be fine. Because you've got a very good reading. Because on Friday, you have your boat coming in. This is the boat. Perhaps you might be moving home, traveling or going on holiday. And you might be even crossing water. Your boat of abundance is coming in. At the weekend you have the mice. Something might be gnawing at you or you might have lost something like your travel papers or you might be very very busy because my, mice work in groups and I always hear that when I see this card many hands make light work. If you've lost something if somebody has taken something from you, please ask for it and ask whether they've got it or whether they've seen it, ask for help. Many hands make light work. Don't let it gnaw at you, okay? Okay, now we're going on to the clarification cards. On Monday, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, Leo. That is beautiful, happy families. Perhaps you now you have the money to go on holiday. Boom, and there. Uh, perhaps you've had an inheritance, perhaps you've won the lottery, perhaps you've had a pay rise and your wishes come true. That you've had a pay rise or you've had a new job so you can afford to go on your holiday. Here again you've got a boat but this is the eight of wands and that means cyber news. You will be receiving news that's flying through the air so to me that means cyber, telephone, email. Uh, messenger, WhatsApp, you name it. So you will be receiving news on Wednesday. Perhaps you might be receiving news that you are going across water or that you are going on holiday. 
um, then on Friday you've got the Wheel of Fortune and the wheel goes round and round. What goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. This is the Karma card. If you've been good, you'll get it back threefold. You'll be a rich person. And you don't have to be rich in money, but you can also be rich in love. Family together. Um, also, uh, you've come to an end of the phase and you're going into a new phase. You see these three stooges or witches or ghosts. Don't listen to idle gossip or the voices in your head. Don't be in your head, okay? Don't let something gnaw at you. It will be fine if you take the time. Okay, don't worry if you're moving home. Everything will be done. Many hands make light work. Try to ask friends or family if you can't afford uh, a firm to help you move, to help you move. There is a new beginning. You've got the Empress. The Empress means fertility, pregnancy, uh, or birth rather, growth and blossoming. And at blossoming, you can harvest. It is your time to harvest big time. You've got positive cards. Ten is an end of a phase. It becomes a one. That is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. Your wish is coming true. It is beautiful. And if your question, for example, is, uh, can I believe this? Yes, the angels are saying yes. There is, for the romance card, we've got codependency. Addictions are affecting your love life or romance life. So if somebody has any addictions, if it isn't you, it could be a bad habit like swearing or eating too much or drinking too much, smoking, then talk about it. If it doesn't suit you, please go and talk about it. Anyway, you've got the koala spirit and with all these good things, the angels are with you. Their answer is yes. Spirit has a plan for you. Well, Leo, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. It's a, one of the best readings this coming week. Okay, take care. Enjoy the summer and I love you loads. Ciao, ciao and see you tonight at 8pm.